Hello, my name is Dan Slate, and I've been asked by the lovely people at CAN uh, to explain in four minutes how to connect with Facebook groups using the Time to Care campaign case study. Start the clock, off we go. There's 2.7 billion Facebook users in the world, and of those, 44.2 million in the UK. So a big chunk of people using, uh, using Facebook. The problem for the public sector is, is that usually between about three and 7% of the population, if stacked end to end, are following uh, a local uh, uh, council or public sector Facebook page. So how do you get beyond the red and into the blue where the other 69% or so of the population are using Facebook? Direction of travel for Facebook is away from pages. We're probably well aware of Facebook zero and the problem of getting contacts in it content in front of people. However, Mark Zuckerberg, really keen on groups. Uh, it's part of community. Friends, family and community are the things that they're really keen to try and push. Two thirds of the UK population and the global population use um, uh, Facebook groups. And those who do are usually members of about five Facebook groups. So quite a lot. Problem is though, is that those Facebook groups tend to be really local. Uh, they're very parish pump. They can be village or a town, or it could be in a housing estate, uh, or just a really small area. Um, for county-wide organisations, that's more troublesome. Um, only about six percent of of groups in a geographic area are are county-wide. People are more interested in joining local groups as opposed to really big uh, groups. So, a quick piece of best practice: uh, the Time to Care campaign. Uh, the brief was to recruit bank of carers in the first weeks and months of uh, COVID, not just carers, but also people who were prepared uh, to work in support roles. So that could be kitchen or um, finance people, or it could be office staff or gardeners or kitchen staff. So, so a real range of people. And this, this, this problem was posed by West Midlands employers, 14 councils across the West Midlands. Herefordshire in the south, all the way up to Stoke-on-Trent in the north, Shropshire, Warwickshire, as well as Birmingham and the Black Country and Coventry. Ask most people what West Midlands is, and they will tend to say Birmingham, Black Country, Coventry, which posed a problem. We couldn't necessarily go to Herefordshire uh, with West Midlands content because people would just look at you blankly and say, we're Herefordshire, not Birmingham, or the Black Country, or Coventry. So we came up with a strategy, and that was to uh, map the number of uh, Facebook groups, uh, or certainly communities, we each had a Facebook group in. And um, we then asked for the permission of the group's admin uh, to look to post some, some content. Uh, of the 300 Facebook groups we approached, 150 gave permission uh, to post. And uh, to start off with, um, I, would, I would send a PM to the admin to say, hello, you don't know me from Adam, uh, but I'm working on this campaign. Any chance of letting me in to post some uh, content uh, so we can get some recruits? Um, actually, I quickly realised that the best way was to, just to go through the front door. So look to join a local group and you will have to fill out uh, a form. Um, and the form is tailored by the Facebook admin. Explain to who I was, uh, why I was doing it, get the approval. And uh, we then had access to 150 groups but not with the same content. We ended up making uh, different uh, videos for different areas, 24 in total across the wider West Midlands. So if you were Herefordshire, you got the Herefordshire uh, video, which was about a minute and a half long. The first six seconds was very localized. So Staffordshire, you saw uh, Staffordshire in, in big letters with, um, with Staffordshire type iconography. Um, Dudley Hales there in Stourbridge, you got that. Solihull, you got Solihull. Warwickshire, you get Warwickshire. Um, and the other difference we made was we got the voiceover done uh, locally. So my mate Tim, who I grew up with in Stafford, now lives in Utoxeter, did the Staffordshire version. Uh, Mrs. Slee did the Dudley version. And we just got uh, different people doing, uh, doing different things. So it had a bit of a local flavour to it. So of the 24 videos posted into Facebook groups, uh, we also had a, a, a really good campaign of Facebook ads. We had uh, media relations, uh, we had social media, and this ended up with 
800 job applications to which people were over the button moon and really pleased. And that's it. Thank you very much. Sorry I can't be here, uh, but if you have any questions, I'm at Dansley on the Twitters, and I'm also dan at dansley.uk, dan at dansley.co.uk, and I can speak slowly now and go and have a cup of tea.